And I want to talk about Yanka for a little while because Yanka was very important in my early career. In fact, in 1967, we did this incredible photograph for the centennial of Canada and it went across the country. And so she and I became, well, she was already famous and she has become famous all through the years because nobody glides like her down the runway and with such a smile. We met at Chez Margot, which was a salon that I managed. And Margot Lane would bring in these incredible fashions from New York. And the press would come in, we'd hold these big fashion shows. And she was always a standout. And I'll always remember how wonderful she was. And I've known her, as I said, since those times. And every time we've met, she gives me the biggest hug and the biggest smile as if we're meeting I don't know, like long lost brothers and sisters. To you, Yanka, wow, what a gorgeous person, both in front of and behind the lens. Uh, we've had some incredible adventures together. You've given me some great direction over the years and uh, you have been a wonderful inspiration to us all. Yanka, you and I have shared such special times together. Memories I will cherish forever. You took candid happy snaps Polaroids of everyone who graced Tiff's sphere, recording them for posterity. Some of the most famous actors, directors, producers, and celebrities from around the world were captured. You are our Library of Congress for all these wonderful moments. Congratulations to one of my favorite models, Bianca. I love fashion, I love film, and I love you. Bianca, you're absolutely beautiful. Yanka, you are forever giving me fashion and beauty tips to the world, giving me the courage to express the power of self-image with the eyes of love from the inside out. You have always had such conviction and encouraged us to see our own beauty for its uniqueness and not to compare ourselves to anyone. The chameleon, the woman of a thousand faces, splashed over the fashion magazines and newspapers. I mean, commonly see that. Uh, when I would, when I'd open up a newspaper and seeing her up on uh, the darling of the catwalks and, you know, unbelievable. And she was a huge mentor to me as a model later on in my days and, and preparing to go to Europe. As the widow of Bill Marshall, who co-founded TIFF with you and Dusty, there's not enough time in this tribute video to share all the incredible memories I'd like to share with you all. Decades, and I mean over almost five decades of changing our landscape for the better is all down to you and your cohorts, Bill and Dusty. When the Festival of Festivals, now TIFF, was launched back in 1976, our local film festival fought for recognition on the global market. It was a mere glimmer in the maker's twinkling eyes for a fledgling industry that didn't even have a nucleus. Now, thanks to what you, Hank, and Bill and Dusty have created, has made Canada a world-class destination for all aspects of the film business. Wow, what a visionary. I mean, you are brilliant and I am so thankful for everything that you have brought to uh, the film community. When I came to Canada donkeys years ago, the Mounties, U of T and McGill universities were among the most famous things to say about Canada. Now the name TIFF is synonymous with Canada's greatest achievements. Hank, heady times <laughs> when you opened the outrageous door with Bill and encouraged the world to step out <laughs> um, and be happy in their skin. I learned how to disco dance <laughs> at the festival. Festival's first opening gala night. We met so many stars. You took us along on the ride. You always kept us involved. And <laughs> we have 50 years of Yanka's Polaroids to prove it. <laughs> founder of the Toronto International Film Festival and the International Film Festival of Panama. Feature film producer, I mean, a real mover and a shaker. Seeing the, the incredible impression that you've made on the city and, and to Canada in both the fashion and film industry, it's, it's admirable. They're a couple cool cats, those two. They are an absolute force. Uh, apart and even more so together. See not only the creative benefit of of the arts, but also the therapeutic and and the, the personal and interpersonal elements that come into play. 
and really recognizing the human aspect of, of the arts. I wanted to send this message to thank you both for inspiring artists um, in, in both of your fields combined. You've had such an impact on film, television, and fashion, and it's just been, it, it generates so much creativity uh, within us to, to be inspired by you and to see your work. You have enriched my life profoundly, giving me the spark of art. Canada could not have found two more perfect ambassadors than our very own Hank and Yonka to showcase who we are. Always talking about uh, art and, and beauty and what it is to be beautiful and what, uh, you know, self-love was really the, the central, central force of the conversation. You're two legends and icons in both film and fashion not only here in Canada, but around the world. You've been instrumental in helping to shape the lives of so many filmmakers, including myself, with your work in launching the Toronto Film Festival. Thank you for the impact that you've made um, in your combined industries. I'm so very happy for you both to have received this well-deserved Lifetime Achievement Award recognition, and so would Bill be too. Congratulations, and I look forward to celebrating with you both in person. Congratulations on this great pan of honor. Mom and Dad, congratulations on your Lifetime Achievement Award with the Canadian International Fashion Film Festival. I raise my glass to Hank and Yanka for this award they're getting from Kenneth for all the work they've done on TIFF. Bless you. Congratulations, so well deserved, and I hope to see you both soon. Congratulations on your lifetime achievement with Kenneth. I hope you guys are having a lovely night. Hi, my young and Opa Hank. My parents, true icons and pioneers of the fashion and film industry. I mean, a marriage, a perfect marriage of both. Congratulations, mom, dad. If ever there was a Kenneth couple, you two are the fashion film dynamic duo. I'm so proud of you guys. Congratulations. I love you both. A big hearted congratulations for your lifetime achievement. And you guys are, are nothing short of amazing. I'm so proud of what they've accomplished together. Uh, and really fortunate to have had these two bright, crazy lights in my life. <laughs> I love them like mad. And, uh, yeah, I'm so happy for the moment's day. I'm crying, I'm German, and Germans don't cry. Um, Hank and Yanka have been um, mentors to me as I entered.
we give and the more we get. And that is why the mirror is such a holy place, because in the mirror, you can see the light. And then when you get the light, it doesn't matter whether you're in the spotlight right now or whether you're sitting right there. I can reflect the light into your, into your, into the oceans of your emotions. And why we love actors and why we love fashion is because it's a safe way to play and go crazy. And you know, fashion is acting. And Joan Sutton said it all when, when she said, you know, she really understood that fashion and acting were all part of the same energy of connection. And now, to, be, to, to give me an opportunity and to help me uh, be the girl of a thousand faces gave me the freedom to allow myself to play. See something? <laughs> We, just this year, we were married 60 years. Excuse me. When we started the festival of festivals, as TIFF was called back in 1967, when we, or 1976, sorry, when we started it, there was no film industry in Toronto. We started the festival out of pure self-interest. We didn't want to particularly be running a film festival. We had absolutely no idea how it would go over. But back then, we wanted to be filmmakers. We wanted to make films. And you couldn't do that in Toronto. Nobody would give you the money, because Canada and Toronto particularly was, did I do something wrong? <laughs> was, my three minutes must be up. Um, back then we were known as part of the domestic market of the United States. Nobody even acknowledged us as a separate country. In that context, Canadians, didn't get to see a lot of Canadian films. Critics couldn't review Canadian films. And financiers said, what, you want to make the film in this country? There was absolutely no appreciation. So we went ahead and we called it the Festival of Festivals. And basically called in the forces of all the other film festivals that were out there already made our promises and said nice things to everybody. And we started and we called it the Festival of Festivals. And we featured every one of them over the time that we were, we were in charge. And you know what? The damn thing, it, it took off. Because what blew us away that in Toronto, we have so many different imported communities they came from everywhere in the world, and you couldn't play a film at the festival in Toronto, but there was an audience for it. So where we thought we'd have a, you know, sort of a sedate little start to this whole thing, we had crowds in every one of the movies that we brought forward. So that gave us sort of a leg up, and, uh, and we said, well, wow, what we had done, because Air Canada, was our major sponsor at the time. Uh, they gave us tickets to go places, and we could pretty much tell which ones we wanted. So what we did is we got the major critics from the United States and elsewhere to come to Toronto on the house. We figured that might be one way to sort of tell the rest of the world about it, because we realized that the only way we were going to exist is if the, the rest of the world were going to recognize that we existed. Well, the second year, actually, I, I'm ahead of myself here because in that first year, the American studios did not come to Toronto. They figured we had no business starting a film festival. Films were their business, and we were considered upstarts. So we didn't have them, and all the places on the stage 
where we had major American contributors, uh, we left the chairs empty because they didn't come. Year two, these critics went home and told everybody how terrific this festival was. And it was. I mean, there was much enthusiasm and a lot of fun. This wasn't your lackadaisical start. And you know what? The next year, they came in droves. And it got better every year. Right now, you know, Canadians have to beg for space because the Americans are smart enough to book it early enough. <laughs> and, and the thing is, it went on and on from there. And last I heard, we went from an industry that was not funded at all to one that represented a couple of billion dollars, I think, in Canada. Uh, and much of it was production work that was possible because in Canada we had developed the talent that could make these films. And also uh, because the Americans were coming to Canada to have their films made, because we had the talent around to help them do it. So, and as guru, it's gone nuts, as you all know. So I'm very happy to be recognized, but there was nothing really much to do with me. I had a lot to do with you. It had a lot to do with Canadian audiences, which have become very, very sophisticated. Americans like to show their films here because an audience will, by the amount of applause or the lack of it, show how they feel about the picture. So Americans get a foretaste in distribution of what they might expect once they go out there with their films. Things like this are totally heartwarming. I hope you become hugely successful, uh, given the people that you're working with, I would be surprised if you didn't. You know, when I first saw some fashion movies, I had no idea about fashion movies. And I got to see them and Roger showed them to me. And I was flabbergasted that the quality of the stuff was so high and it was such a, such a pleasure. And when he then came around and said, hey, would you work with us? I said, yeah, any old way you want me to. And we've done that. And he could give me more work, actually. <laughs> anyway, I, I'm very happy to be here. I want to thank everybody for the great honor of recognizing our contributions. And uh, wish you all the very best. And maybe. present Hank and Yanka with beautiful watches and what you see in front of you and on the screen anybody that knows Hank and Yanka know they love their vintage posters so Liam and my wife Martine created your very own vintage poster Aww.